，这个这个这种因缘哈。就反正好有书，十七经、十代跟十三代，跟第一页这个圣经嘛，这个呃，八十条七经，然后第一条七经。约翰福音书十七章二十节，我有拿为着这这个人来求，也为着对伊的话来信我的人，这来信我的人，也为着对伊的话来信我的人，人就好，好因拢做一个。亲像白日伊点伫我，我点伫伊，互因也安尼点伫咱，就互世间信伊找我。你，你，所有我诶因缘，我已经互因，互因做一个，亲像咱诶做一个，我点伫因，因点伫我，互因，完全诶做一个，互世间在伊找我，我也。你在，你听，你听因听，听我听因，我想袂足好用的，我正在读一个英文啊。Today Bible verses, uh, John, uh, chapter seventeen, verses twenty to twenty-three. Uh, Holy Bible, page uh, <coughs> eighty-five. <coughs> I ask not only on behalf of this, but also on behalf of those who were believed in me. Through their words, that they may all be one, as you, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you, and they also be in us, so that the world may be may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them. So that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know, may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Today, uh, Pastor's uh, sermon is "May they all be one." So it's one, 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 we are an assorted of people. Some of us are sorry and grieving or sad. Some of us are filled with joy, happiness, and excitement. But all of us are different. All of us need you. Through your spirit power, draw us as one into the fellowship of your Son, Jesus Christ. Inspire us. Cleanse us, energize us, and endow us with the living power that you have given to us through Jesus Christ. In His name, we pray. Amen. I'm glad to come today again and see so many good friends. And I was told to do a little bit of preach in English, then followed by the Taiwanese song. I think you probably all. Had seen the movie called Tuesday with Morrie. 
So this one is very nice and interesting. I like it very much. It is a true story about a sports writer called Michi Alpha. And his reunion with his professor, Mori. Mori was in time situation of ALS. ALS is a disease that attacks your nerve cell uh, to control your muscles. Mitch was a alcoholic. His life is a series of hurry appointment, rush home, and catching fries. When he found that his professor was in the last stage of ALS. He honored his long overdue promise to visit him. And in this visit, Maury teach me how important are our life. Maurice was very frightened patient. And he sit in the reclined chair and he said <coughs> to me, when we are in there, we need someone to help to survive. And when you are dying, you also need someone to help to survive. But most important is in between times, we meet each other even more. And that's the message from his professor. And in that movie, Mitch not and respond with the quotation that his professor used to say. You must love each other, you must love each other, or you die. But Morris loves his patient. And he said to his former student, yeah, but do you believe that? Do you really apply that statement to your life? Mitch was stuck because he is defensive as he confessed that he better believe that statement. Because his world doesn't allow him for the contemplation of the spiritual life. So Maury pushed a little bit harder and said to him, Mitch, you hate the world, doesn't you? You hate that world spirit. You think it's just a touching feeling. And Mitch said, I don't understand. Then Morris said, you must love one another or you will die. This is a very simple lesson. The scripture that we have today, Jesus is praying to God for the church. Jesus' prayer is that we learn to love one another so that we may become one in God. When the Gospel writer John had Jesus expressed, it's a deep desire that the church be able to experience the same kind of love and unity in the spirit that Jesus himself experienced with God. May they be one, just as I am in you and you are in mine. So the question we ask today is why is unity so important in this church? I think the first is because we act to say something to others about who God is. The Christian story tells us that by knowing Jesus, we come to know who God is. We learn from Jesus that God's nature is love and forgiveness. And we learn from Him that the Holy Spirit is God's giving love 
to those who believe in him so that we may experience God's guidance and wisdom. Not only just for ourselves, but also for the healing and the whole of the whole world. Now, don't get me wrong, it is not that we can live in perfect life and in God's representative all the all time. No way. The very fact that we cannot do this show that we need for God and the forgiveness promised by Christ and the empowerment offered by the Spirit. Our faith is not just do it yourself and the practice. At heart of Christian faith is forgiveness and the promise of the Holy Spirit to renew and to guide us. And at heart of the faith is also community. For so that is where we learn to love and to be loved. So if that region is so important, unity is one of the elements that we show to the world. The fruit of spirit indicated in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22, we are very familiar. A love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. They are the things that bring us unity. They do not add to the case. The second reason that unity is important is that we need each other. We need after instruction, encourage that others possess. We also deprive ourselves of great joy if we don't have and we are divided. But we need to remember that unity is not uniform. Jesus did not say or pray that they are all be the same. He only prayed that they all may be one. So we are all different. Verity is valuable. Verity is not efficient. It is just different. We could complement each other with what we have and what we don't have. So it's important to remember that our differences serve a very important function in this community. They keep us from previous error. When everyone marks the last step in all the same thing, it is easy for us to astray without even realizing. We all know the second world war, Adolf Hitler led the whole nation astray. He did not by siding all the people, differences keep fresh and air. He keep us growing when we are in the place where everyone thinks exactly alike. We cannot stop singing. So what part of God do we know about the world needs? I think we have a particular wonderful challenge and opportunity through our varieties. I see us being called by God to be an inviting, open-minded, and pluralistic church. One in which people of many different interpretation of scriptures, different background, different texts, different political points cannot divide us and cannot stop us from becoming one. This was Jesus' prayer that they all be one. 
so that people would come to know the extraordinary love and unity that Jesus himself experienced with God. The prayer indicates that when such unity occurs, it is a gift of the Spirit. Please notice that John and Jesus pray this to God as we are standing by listening. He has Jesus pray for the church. It is just way of telling us, remember, you cannot do this by yourself. You cannot do this apart from Jesus and the Holy Spirit. You cannot make such unity happen all by yourself. It is one of those paradoxes that in our faith. It is not up to us, but we do pray our part. One has the desire of unity to achieve unity. Perhaps this is like the old saying, we are to work as if everything depends on us in unity. But also we pray as if everything depends on God. In the book called One Church from the Fences, the author which selling jerk writes, I have spent a long time in the intensive care when you know. Watching people anguish, listening to urgent questions. Will my husband make it? Will my child walk again? Can I live without my company for 30 years? The intensive care waiting room is different from any other place in the world, if you have been there. And the people who wait are different. They cannot do enough for each other. No one is rude. The distinguish of race and crowds melt away. Person is father first. Black man second. The Dalish man loves his wife as much as a professor loves his. And everyone understands this. Each person poor for everything else. In the intensive care waiting room, the world changed. Vanity and <coughs> pretense vanished. The universe is focused on the life of the love. Would they be able to survive? Would our relationship be cut out after this life? That's the question we ask. Everyone in that waiting room knows that loving someone else is what life is all about. So long before we get to the intensive care waiting room, May we all learn to live like that. Knowing what is most important in our life is loving each other. And that Jesus prayed that we all may be one so that we can be shown to the world that there's God and there's love and there's forgiveness. But that then I don't get a dip a gun to see yeah so if you can not give a we do you have seen a chair the sin you have seen yeah well to see Children,
，也来尊敬。所以，第一，要加入受苦的头前。一直一顿祈祷，七天，也是因为着家己祈祷，为着先祈祷，为着遐个过来去信的学生来祈祷。祈祷的主要的内容就是关于的当合之福利。伊阿伊讲，恁若合之福利，恁才发到来荣耀上帝。亲像我伫这个世间来荣耀上帝，啊！伊爱怎讲？恁会当来荣耀上帝，当来合的一个最大的动力，就是恁爱大家三听，亲像我听上帝，上帝听我，我就当合起。一个教会。一个所谓信耶稣基督团体，会当来吸引人，当然